Welcome to Corium Concepts. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Just going to do a quick update here on a few items and uh, keep up with the markets. I'm really impressed with the uh, post airdrop response from Corium token here. Still holding 27 cents, so that's really strong. It's up 11.5% on the week. Last 24 hours, 6.75%. So coming in at 27.78%, it was pushed even higher than that yesterday. It's pulled back a little bit. So that's really strong performance for token that uh, just had such a large amount of the supply airdrop to the community. So very good to see that. If you're new here, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Give a like or a share if I can provide you some value. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see different. A lot of comments and past videos have led to a lot of the changes that have been made on this channel. Um, come a long ways. A lot of those videos at the start were pretty rough. So uh, feel free to give a comment. You never know. It might uh, make the change that you're hoping to see around here. So Sologenic is coming in at 15 cents. It's been under a little pressure the last little week. I think this is one of the uh, sleeping giants. I think there's going to be great things ahead for Sologenic. So... Keep your eyes on that one. XRP coming in just under 50 cents. It's been uh, on either side of that here the last few days. And Bitcoin just under 28,000. Same thing, just uh, on either side of that 28,000 mark the last few days. Total crypto market cap down a little bit yesterday at 1.145 trillion. Gold sitting around just above 2,000 mark. Silver's been strong the last week also, 24.81. DXY, 102. MRMRI is coming in at 209. So it's uh, pulled back here in the last little while. That's good to see. Uh, it'd be nice to get it under that 200 mark. Well, I don't know if it's nice to get it under that 200 mark for the grand scheme of things. But, uh, you know, anyways, for... For the uh, investment purposes, I guess it'd be nice to be under that that 200 mark. Wall Street Silver posted current spot price of silver is around 25 bucks an ounce. It's almost impossible to buy silver at less than 30 bucks an ounce, and high demand sovereign coins like the American Silver Eagle are closer to 40 bucks per ounce. So, uh, next to crypto, one of the greatest investment opportunity. Well, I think it is the greatest investment opportunity of our time is silver, but. Uh, uh, Blockchain close second. Heading over to MintScan here. Uh, nice to see. Uh, one point or uh, 142 million 400 thousand tokens are uh, bonded. Cosmos Stations took over the top spot for voting power again, just above Zen Lounge in a close second. And uh, we're going to talk about a proposal that's being. Uh, uh, discussed right now it's just in a discussion phase so it's nice that these things are are kind of getting uh, massaged and worked out before it actually turns out to be a proposal so you don't have uh, a bunch of confusion but uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit here I've been really focusing on our community validators uh, nice to see that they've uh, had a lot more support but it's still just keeping them in that 32nd position Corium Services just above at 31, Synchrotron at 30. So these these three, we got to make sure that uh, we can keep them hanging on. At best, even better, it would be nice to get them up that list to the same area of Core Heroes here with a bit of cushion underneath them. So really good to see our community validators are uh, doing strong. Everybody's got 100% uptime, so quality Quality validators, no downtime at all after this this much time. Really good to see. And then if you look at it by the rate of commissions, uh, again, our community validators are just coming out strong. Top spots, 007 Corium. Uh, with only 3% uh, of the voting power, they got the lowest commission at 0 0.5. Bitrue big institutional validator in the third spot on size they're coming in at one percent corium services it's another community validator coming in at four percent core heroes at 4.5 percent and then it goes to five percent ten percent and then twenty percent 
as the highest. So what I wanted to talk about yesterday, um, I seen a video from Zen Lounge. Uh, I couldn't find it again to actually put this video together and I already sought out some comments on some from other validators. So I'm, hands are kind of tied behind my back on this one because uh, they referenced a website where these this uh, proposal is being discussed uh, prior to becoming a proposal. And unfortunately, I don't know what that site is. But uh, I, I reached out, uh, curious to know what 007 Corey Validator thought about uh, Zen's proposal. And unfortunately, he hadn't seen the video. In summary, uh, based on Cosmos Network's uh, experience, it was a Zen's opinion and that of um, uh, informal systems that's potentially going to propose this. A 5% minimum fee was required is ideal because it gives the validators the ability to uh, fund their project well and ensure that they got quality equipment to ensure quality validators are maintained on the network to provide better network security so you know it, you know it makes sense you know i'm not i'm not arguing that one way or the other and i'm not running a validator so i'm not the one that needs to to necessarily know the answers to these things i just want to make sure the community is aware of them so we can all kind of think about it and and give give our opinion to whoever we're delegating with so zen uh supported the idea of a five percent minimum it's currently what he based his on and that was obviously you know with his experience and research in the cosmos networks why he likely chose that number but uh in fairness he admitted he was biased because he runs a, a validator himself and he threw it out to his community and said that, you know, if his community disagrees with him, then he would just abstain from voting. So that's cool. I mean, as a community, that's what you want to see from your delegator is, is uh, you know, somebody that's going to listen to the community. So uh, good on him for that. That's really cool. And I just want to know what other people's opinions were. Gatron did uh, make comment in the Web, on the website that they were referencing i just hadn't read it i was hoping to go back and review it myself but, but i just can't get to it now but 007 core validator did see it says i uh, have not seen the video i have seen comments about it though not sure high floor on commission serves the community there are people interested for instance in passive income others on nft projects I support a choice to delegate validators you align with. Additionally, he says, I'm thinking that as a first proposal, I'd like to see something that helps more participation. What about increasing the number of validators from 32 to 40? That's uh, you know, a different take altogether. And and so, I mean, currently, 007 Core Invalidator offers the lowest fees. So obviously that was something important to them because they're doing so at a loss. You know, so they're not they're not trying to undercut uh, for their personal gain. They're not trying to be the biggest validator out there. Quite the opposite. They believe in a decentralized way. It's important that we all talk about this and figure figure out what's best before it actually comes up as a proposal to vote on. So yeah, this Mark Smith, he obviously seen the same video I did. Uh, he admits he's not active on social media, so uh, I don't know who he is. I just caught his comment at around the same time I was looking at this situation. Uh, but great video. I respectfully disagree. 5% being the standard fee. It's true there are a few chains like Juno or Osmosis that the community has decided to implement a minimum 5%. However, they are the exception. And they're not the rule. So I find it misleading to call 5% a standard. If you go to MintScan, you can find many blockchains, including the very mature Cosmos blockchain, having a wide range of commission fees ranging from 0 to 100 Delegators have the choice to delegate to validators that align with their values from low commission environmental products, charities, or someone who is creating a great project that benefits the community. I believe that competition is the way to go. And proposals like the one you're alluding will be positive for some validators and detrimental for other validators and also those members of the community behind them. I'm a big supporter of the free markets and choice. And this guy prefers to delegate with said lounge, so it's you know, he's not uh, trying to beat up on him or anything like that. He just clearly disagrees with the position of the 5% flat free. So that's cool. Everybody's here to voice their opinion and uh, make sure the people that they delegate with uh, hear it and hopefully vote accordingly with their community. 
Well, yeah, hopefully uh, Zen Lounge and Synchrotron can give some more clarity on, on where that discussion's taking place so we can follow it a little closer. And because uh, the more opinions we hear, the uh, better we can all make a decision on it. Like, I don't necessarily know where I stand on it yet. I haven't uh, looked into it enough and, and I don't run a validator. So um, not so important to me. I'm just trying to share the information for the community and, and for the the validators out there to be aware that this is being discussed so they can uh, position accordingly because for example you know a couple of the community validators are are making it important to have low fees so i mean if this is you know a community saying well no this is this this is the way your fee has to be structured well that might impact them and what they want to do so i think it's important we're all aware of it obviously if it goes to proposal community will vote on it and and that's what we're all here for is nft evolutions parent company that's taken over a bunch of uh nft projects i don't know if they're taking over them per se but definitely they've created a an umbrella to capture all the projects under one name you got the x walkers that's kind of where i was uh first first caught my eye was the x walkers i didn't get involved in that project but when they released Core Heroes, I was very interested, obviously, because of the connection to the Corium network. And uh, then they, after that, they got involved with X Pirates, and now they're branching out to uh, X Homies, and that's on the Hedera network. So it's very interesting to see the community building that's going on, and uh, I'm hoping this leads to interoperability with NFTs because. Uh, they really highlight the need for interoperability. There's no sense buying a, a digital or even a physical asset uh, as an NFT if, uh, if it's stuck in a silo. So I'm looking forward to learning more about that. I really think they're driving, they're going to be the drivers of mass adoption and with that interoperability. So that's why I keep my, my eye on it. But the exciting thing for me is, is the community building part of it. So uh, they're really working hard on these projects. There's some great rewards that are being distributed back to the community for those that are being or getting involved here. So, uh, yeah, keep your eye on it. There's going to be a lot of exciting things ahead. Donald Trump says our currency is crashing and will soon no longer be the world standard. Do you agree? And I, I do agree that is happening now. I don't know that it's going to happen as quick as a lot of people say it's going to happen, but it's definitely happening is is making their moves uh they're signing up more countries saudi arabia is starting to negotiate selling oil and in, in different currencies like things are changing it's clear but i don't know that it's uh quite as imminent as it's being portrayed i guess in the media sometimes they like to to hit that fear button a lot but i listened to a great twitter space yesterday with george gannon and you know something that he said simplified it in my mind anyways is that stop selling oil in U.S. dollars, it's, it's sure it's going to have an effect as the U.S. dollar being the world reserve currency in time, but uh, all those dollars are backed by debt. So that all that debt still has to be paid in U.S. dollars. So things are changing, but the U.S. dollar is going to be here for a while. Um, but we're all here investing and researching into projects that are obviously meant to be part of the next system. Um, I don't know this guy at all. I just uh, kind of caught this on Twitter. Um, so sorry that it's maybe not the best time to introduce this guy to everybody, but I kind of liked what he was uh, selling here, Open CBDC a central bank digital currency project at the MIT Media Labs Digital Currency Institute. 30 times faster than today's payments, world-leading cryptography, Linux for money design, open-sourced with central banks. So, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Uh, something I'm going to be looking into a little bit further, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys in case uh, anybody else wanted to explore that further. Uh, this project here, oh, before, before I move to that, I had this here, Stansberry Research, Lynette Zhang and her opinion on the current state of affairs. Is public confidence. So, yes, 
They, it, it's, it's game over. We need to go into a new system. This system is done. It's done. There's nothing left in the system. They, they, there's officially no purchasing power left in the currencies. It's all just on confidence. That's it. And only public confidence. Because the banks don't have confidence in each other. The central banks don't have confidence in each other. And Wall Street to the banks don't have confidence in each other, right? So that happened since 2008. That's just been whittled away. It's just public confidence. So yes, they, it, it's, it's game over. We need to go into a new system. This system is done. It's done. So yeah, we, we know it's done, but it's just not going to change tomorrow. So be prepared for crazy times. And, and I think that's why a lot of us are in this space, because we know the new system is coming. And Corium Validator posted, let's make India core of the crypto transactions, followed by whole bricks, Africa, and the Middle East. The future resides here. And uh, a lot of people agree. It's uh, Saudi Arabia and... Uh, what they're doing there with the uh, with the line, this big super city there, um, BRICS, and more countries just flocking to BRICS to to sign up with that. There, there's a change happening, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's uh, but it's going to have profound effects on on every everyone. Corium official released the mainnet launch official recap. And uh, I just thought I'd share it. My uh, beautiful partner makes a little cameo in there. I got the back of my head in here, there, a few places. So uh, really cool experience there. Glad this has all been documented. Glad I'm part of documenting this whole uh, journey of Corium uh, leading up to the main net and beyond. It's been very exciting. Hopefully I provide you guys some value here today. Please hit that like button, comment, and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe. Peace and prosperity to you all. Tonight is the official Corium mainnet launch. This launch signifies a new era in blockchain technology. We are super excited to be celebrating here with not only the core team, but industry leaders in the crypto space as well. We hope you guys enjoy the Corium mainnet launch and let's go check it out. dream of mine as a creator in the Web3 space to design and produce and put out my own project. So to do it with Quorum, to be able to sponsor this event, overwhelming. That's the, honestly, it's crazy. This year is the year for Corium. We have done more than a year and a half, almost two years of research and development. Uh, we're going to be uh, reaching out to the government. We're going to be reaching out to the financial institutions. Uh, we're going to be launching, you know, grants. We're going to be launching, you know, hackathon. We're going to be partnering up with the university across the world. We do whatever we can just to make sure we are going to bring more projects and more developers to build on Corium. Corium is going to be within the top 10 project within the next 12 months. Congratulations to Bob, Reza, and the rest of the Corium and the Sologenic team. I believe Corium will be the standard of the future. I strongly believe this is one of the best blockchain in the world. When I say the best, I mean the technology that the Corium ecosystem offers, you know, the smart tokens, smart contracts. But the key source to all this is the IBC, inter-blockchain communication that um, Corium is providing. It's a one-in-a-lifetime event, and it's, it's a pleasure. I will do anything in the world to be here.
I feel absolutely amazing, excited to be here. I feel privileged just being with Solo Genesis because it's such an amazing community of individuals and I love how we can represent Solo Genic and give our respect to Solo Genic in this space and, and just grow together and, and just be a part of something that's just so absolutely fantastic. We are so appreciative to be a part of this. Uh, so we can't say thank you enough. There's a lot going on for children around the world and we're, we're so grateful for partners who are coming alongside us and helping us um, in our efforts, so thank you.